Welcome back. I'm Nate. Today I want to talk about building toys. My son Riker has always been really good at breaking things, crashing cars into each other and tearing down towers. But one of the things he's struggled with has been building things and putting toys together. Today I have six different toys that have been very helpful for Riker in learning how to build things. Some of these toys have been helpful for teaching Riker patience, and others have been really good at helping his hand-to-eye coordination or his, his dexterity and motor skills. I'm gonna start with the toy that has been most difficult for Riker to build with and go down the list to the things that have been the easiest to teach him how to build stuff. One of the first toys I started trying to get Riker to build was Legos. I have lots of Legos and I've been collecting Legos since my son Bishop was very young. So since we had Legos on hand already, I tried to get Riker to put Legos together. And you know, I'd get him like some larger pieces, some of the bricks, and try and see if he could put them together. Building with Legos does require a lot of hand-to-eye coordination. It also requires fine motor skills in being able to get the piece to go where you want it to go. It's easy enough to stick two Legos together, but that's not the same as you trying to build something and have it turn into something specific. Legos are a great building toy, but they have been more difficult for Riker to learn building with because of how small they are and because of how small the dots and the holes are uh, to needing to line up together. One of the things that's been really good recently with Legos is the Lego Junior sets. And essentially you have a, a piece like this, this here where it actually has like the, the axle and the part of the, the car where a person would sit. This is about six or seven pieces put together. So the Lego Junior set has been great at trying to get larger pieces into the building pool of Legos so that smaller kids or maybe even special needs kids can build with Lego a little easier. The, the child is still going to have to get good at lining up the little dots together to get them to stick into each other. So several special needs difficulties can kind of get in the way of Lego being a, a fun toy for a kid. Tinker toy. The, the building aspect of Tinker toys is somewhat simplistic. You basically have these bars and then you have these these structures that have holes in them. There are various shapes of the hole bearing structures. Sometimes they're like these little half uh, or, or quarter circles. Sometimes they're full circles. So you have these, these poles and these holes essentially. And the goal of the toy is just to stick them together. Riker's able to stick them together no problem. Riker can get the little, the little poles to go inside of a hole and stick them together. Where Riker has a lot of difficulty is building something specific. Riker could not make an awesome race car with the Tinker Toys. Mostly because the Tinker Toys do require some advanced planning. You need to be able to think through a design. I'm going to build a triangle, and then I'm going to interconnect the pieces of the triangle, and I'm going to have the whole triangle turn into two triangles that have wheels on it and a load-bearing structure, and now I've got a vehicle. It's hard for Riker to build an awesome race car with Tinker Toys but he does have a lot of fun with it. And the Tinker Toys have been great in teaching him how to pay attention to the different structures and focus and try and get them to go together. So Tinker Toys have been a great building toy, but they are difficult for Riker to build with. Duplos. I know Duplos are very similar to Lego, but obviously they're, they're bigger, <laughs> you know, they're a lot bigger. Duplos have been a very good toy to teach Riker how to play with Legos. Where Duplos have been, have been very good for Riker is in learning how to apply pressure to parts. Because, you know, Duplos are easy to kind of, kind of get them to fall into place. Where it becomes a little more difficult is trying to get them secured down. And for many years, Riker struggled to get Duplos to fasten into each other because he'd often just set them together and then they'd fall apart and then whatever it was he was trying to build, you know, wouldn't stay built. So while Riker has been building with Duplos, over time he's gotten very good at getting the pieces to line up, but then also learning to push them together with some amount of force and kind of learn how to, how to make these go together. So these have been a great building toy. They've also been kind of a, a gateway toy trying to get him into to playing with Legos. I don't know what these are called. <laughs> I think they're just called spiky blocks. 
Uh, I'm going to have a link to each of these toys down in the description below. So if you're interested in finding each of these toys, I'm going to call these spiky blocks. They're fantastic building toys. So these are a lot like Legos in that you have dots and you have holes and the dots and holes have to kind of mash together to build. These are a lot easier to build with than Legos. The blocks kind of just fall together just by sort of smashing them into each other. Even just setting the blocks on top of each other can result in them kind of being built. You don't really have to apply a lot of pressure. The blocks will come apart, but if you have a child that can just put a little bit of pressure into putting the blocks together, they're, they're together, you know, like this isn't coming apart. These toys are really easy to just smash into each other and come up with some kind of creation that sticks together really well. This is a, okay, sticks together pretty well. This is a great toy for getting kids to just combine things together. These do have, turning pieces so you could build an awesome race car with this toy great toy i'm gonna call them spiky blocks they'll be in the description below if you're looking for them for for your child i think these are just called magnet blocks when we were first trying to get Riker to learn how to build with toys he had a lot of trouble putting things together his natural inclination was to pull everything apart i often had to put something together and hand it to him and then he would pull it apart. One of the toys we found when he was very young were these, these little magnet blocks. We started getting various different types of magnet blocks. Coolest thing about this is that the block pulls itself together. Just putting it kind of next to each other makes it so that, you know, it, you're, you're building <laughs> accidentally. And that was exactly what we needed for Riker because Riker would not build intentionally. Riker was constantly trying to tear something apart. So I'd build a cube, Riker would smash the cube into pieces and then kind of notice that everything built itself back together. When you're trying to get a kid to transition from deconstruction into construction, my, my first suggestion is magnet toys, any type of magnet toys. And that's gonna bring us to our next toy. And I think this is my favorite of all the toys that, that we have found so far. This is called Tegu, T-E-G-U. Hands down the best building toy that we have ever found for Riker and the toy that he has come back to the most often when he wants to build something. These are magnetic building blocks that also have wheels. The reason why these are so good for a special needs child, one, they're a magnetic toy, so they automatically go together. So if, if, you, have a, if you have a special needs child who's stuck in deconstruction and tearing everything apart, just playing with six of these blocks is going to get the child to accidentally build and that's really good because they might not be trying to build but accidentally building means they kind of learn that building can happen there's almost no texture to the blocks they're just they're smooth wood so a child that has a, an aversion to building pieces like these that have the spikes on them or have dots so they're kind of a, abrasive these are not going to offend a child with texture sensitivities there are a lot of different interconnected pieces that come in this building system including all the wheels if your child is trying to build an awesome race car this is a toy that has kind of an automatic building system where you can accidentally build an awesome race car just by dropping the pieces next to each other. Another reason why these are so awesome is they're really fun to play with. Like, even as an adult, I love Legos. I love complicated interconnected building, building kits. These still satisfy that niche, that desire to build something. You know, just like taking a few of these blocks and twisting them and turning them around and getting them into a different shape. So you have all these triangles and these trapezoids that are all part of the same interconnected block building system. You can stick these together. We've been, we've been collecting the Tegu blocks since Riker was about three years old, and he's been able to play with them since about that time. He, at first, of course, he was always trying to take them apart, but very quickly, he realized that they kind of put themselves together. So these were these were a toy that Riker could accidentally build with. As he's gotten older, some of the some of the the more simplistic uh, magnet block systems he's kind of gotten bored of, and he's lost interest in playing with them. But these, because there are so many different design blocks, and there are so many different ways to stick them together, they've stayed very interesting to Riker. That's six different building systems that are that are great for special needs kids they've been very helpful for Riker in teaching him how to go from deconstruction to construction if you found any building toys that have been particularly helpful for your child and in, in teaching them how to construct things please list them down in the comments I'd love to take a look at different toys 
I'd love, like to get other toys for Riker. We always like trying to find new building systems. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll, I'll have some more videos like this about some of the things that, that, that we've learned in, in trying to raise Riker. If you're looking for any of these building toys, again, I'll have a link down in the description below. You can take a look at them and, and pick some up for, for your kid. Thank you so much for watching. May God be with you. You gotta turn my face the right. There we go. Now I can see where I'm driving. So who's inside the red Ferrari? Elmo. Okay, Elmo. And then the Oscar the Grouch in the Oscar trash truck. Oscar the Grouch trying to steal your the trash cans. Okay. He's, and then this is not Grover. This is Cookie Monster. This is not Grover. It's beautiful Cookie Monster. He can. He can. He can. He has fur. Who's a good guy?